Nestled near the coast of Belgium lies the city of Bruges, known for its canals, cobblestone streets, and chocolate. What most people don't know, Bruges is also the most dementia-friendly city in the world. The idea is to treat dementia patients like any other residents of the city, keeping them independent longer, which helps slow down the progression of their disease. Bart Deltor works for Photon, an organization that ensures dementia patients aren't isolated at home. When people with dementia can go outside, they can keep moving, they can have social contact, they are, uh, they're healthy, uh, staying much longer. Photon provides everything from counseling for caregivers to music classes, and even a special cafe where families can spend time together. There's also this red handkerchief sticker found on windows of more than 100 shops, signaling to patients that they are dementia friendly. I help them with the money and ask them three times or four times the same question, but I'm happy to do that, yes. In total, the organization has trained more than a thousand residents, including police officers and shopkeepers, on how to treat people with dementia. Mariette de Bousser is proof of the program's success. 88. Yeah. Oh, wow. You do not look 88. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's over a decade ago, but still lives independently, only possible because of volunteers who visit her home every day. Has the progression of her disease slowed down because she's been able to live at home? Yes. She stays in shape. Uh, she goes walking. Uh, I think it's a bit, it makes a big difference. A successful yes. dementia treatment that has nothing to do with medicine and everything to do with how we treat each other. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Bruges, Belgium. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.